Spy Ninjas. Her leader came home to the safe house, bought this bag filled with our old childhood stuff, including this cell phone right here, which belonged to me when I was a kid. I can't wait to see what's on there, V. There's probably all these old messages that you wrote when you were a kid. Give me the camera. Wait, what do you see, Daniel? Oh, there we go, there we go, it's on! Oh. Ooh, but uh, the screen's in bad shape. I okay. dropped it a couple times back in the day. Okay, well that's no problem because it's hooked up to my iPhone right here so I can see what's on this phone on this screen. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, look, okay. Oh, you got a voicemail. Oh. Do you know who that is? No. We could listen to the voicemail, I guess. I don't know if I feel comfortable about that. Yeah, what's okay. the worst this could be? All right, let's play it. Let's play it. V, if you're hearing this, it means I wasn't able to escape. I hit the what? items at the coordinates in the text message. You must find them and get the word out before it's too late. Don't try to save me. Oh no, they're coming. Gotta go. What? What, was what the heck was that, V? What kind what? of weird message is that? You don't remember getting that when you were a little kid, V? I have a ton of friends, you know, when I was younger, and it's probably one of them, right? I don't know. You're talking to some weird kids when you were little. Were you playing some sort of weird game or something, or what? I don't know. That girl sounds really distressed. Okay, well, she mentioned a text message, so maybe I'll read your text messages on here. Oh, okay. great. This is cool. We're unlocking stuff about your past, right? I mean, it'll probably be talking about, like, Barbies and My Little Ponies and stuff like that. I only have generic versions of all of those. Let's uh, go through the text messages. There's two text messages from this voicemail. <gasps> There's a contact name for this person. Best friend. Gosh, I should know my best friend. You know, I can't really remember for some reason. Well, I mean, let's read the text message. Maybe that'll tell us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It says, we need to break into the headmaster's office tonight. What? Headmaster? That's like a principal at a school. I think I've ever gone to a school that has a headmaster. What is going on here? Breaking in? Your friend was up to no good? Were you one of those bad kids, V? No, I was not a hooligan, Chad. There's another text message here from this person. Okay. This one's just a bunch of GPS cords. What? What? Who was I hanging out with? I don't remember this girl. I don't remember headmaster and coordinates. Let me look up these coordinates right here. Maybe it's another clue or something. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's just a joke. Maybe it's like my house or something. It's actually not too far away, guys. It looks like we can get there today. What are you talking about? I lived in Minnesota. How is this coordinates here? It's kind of on the outskirts of Las Vegas. Actually, it looks like we're going to have to go over some really crazy terrain to get there. We can't take the DeLorean there then. My DeLorean is like this low from the ground. If we go over mountains, it's going to bottom out. We need like a vehicle with like four-wheel drive. Yeah, if we had something like that, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I only know one person who has something like that. Who? You know who. Let's call Regina and see what's going on with her. Maybe she's finding out some new info or something because she's hanging out with a lot of hackers lately. That's right, she's pretending to be captured by PZ2 and PZ5 so she can gather information from them. Regina! Hey, Chad and V. So Daniel hacked into my childhood phone. It had coordinates that leads to somewhere outside of Las Vegas. Can you ask the hackers what's going on? I haven't heard anything about that, but Foomf was saying that someone broke into the Project Circle basement and stole a ton of stuff. That's all I got. I think I might know what that bunch of stuff is. But it's all ours anyway. It was from us when we were children. So Perlita stole it back and gave it back to us. Perlita's the one that stole the stuff? Yeah, I mean, Project Zorgo apparently has a bunch of stuff about Chad and I as kids. So she took it back, and now it's in our possession. All right, let me see what I can come up with. I gotta go. Well, we need to get to these GPS coordinates, V, and find out what you and your best friend did when you were little kids and what you put there. I feel like we should contact Melvin, PC9, because he has the truck. What? No, 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 we can't do that. He betrayed us. I never want to see his face again. But Daniel, that's the only vehicle that can make over all those mountains. How are we going to convince... PZ9 to give us his truck. There's no way he's gonna do that. We could trick him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, new app I've been developing. I call it Nav Hack. Pretty much if we can plug one of our phones into Melvin's truck, I can hack his navigation system. Oh yeah, he has that screen. It tells him where to turn, right? I can make it say, Make a left, make a right, go up this road. Oh, so wait a second, you're saying we need to sneak into his truck, plug in our phone, you'll hack into his GPS, and he'll drive us right where we want to go. Yeah, we'll have to sneak into the car too at some point. All three of us? Somebody needs to be using the nav hack system, so maybe I'll stay back, and I'll be doing that and guiding you guys through. You ready for a secret stealth sneak mission, V? Oh yeah, spicy spy, V, ready. And, and super awesome Chad Walclay. Well, while you're gone, I'm also gonna be looking at these things, okay? Finding clues about your old stuff. Yeah, yeah, try to hack into my old phone, maybe there's some old voicemails and text messages on there too. Be careful with my comic book though, it's worth a lot of money. I'll do my best, I'll get back to you if I find anything. Okay. okay. All right, let's go, go. Chad. Oh, Melvin. Look over there. I don't see anything. Come closer, you don't see that movement? No. Oh, you gotta check your eyes, Chad. You're the one who's blind, V. Do you see it by that tree? Is that a hacker laying on the ground right there? I think we gotta get a little closer. All right, just be careful, V, okay? Might be a trap. Ew, what is this? 
someone was brushing their dog. Let's approach the back. Whoa. Hey. hey. Hey, dude. Hey, what are you doing here? Wait, wait, are you taking a nap in the park or what? What is it with you people? I told you I didn't know anything. We've never spoke to you before. What are you talking about? Hey, why don't you just battle right out me? What? No. What? Wait, you, you're saying that you just got beat up right now? Well, I didn't beat myself up. God. Not by a spy ninja. Oh, you look like a spy ninja to me. Did you say he? Yeah, he's a hairy fella. <gasps> That's Melvin. What do you want with me? Leave me alone. Where did that spy ninja go? I think he went that way. Was he wearing all black? Did he happen to drive a black truck by any chance? I think so. He's talking about some kind of mobile command center. That's definitely Melvin. Ugh. Okay, let's go. Okay. okay, thanks, dude. Thanks, man. Wow, so Melvin beat up a hacker? All right, so he went this way somewhere. Melvin, he's always doing bad things. You know, the, one of the rules of the Spy Ninjas is you never throw the first punch. It's for self-defense only. That's one of the reasons he quit the Spy Ninjas. He wants to just fight people whenever he feels like. He wants to beat people up. He's a bully. He fights Project Zargo members, and he also fight Daniel and all the Spy Ninjas, too. We gotta find that punk. He's gotta be somewhere over here. The hacker said he went this way. See him anywhere, V? Did you see him? That's Melvin's truck, and Melvin. He's like setting up for something. Must be holding another course. Yeah, his online spy ninja training course. What does he call it? Ninja moves for clout that all the hackers keep signing up for. Oh wait, it looks like he's packing up actually. Uh oh. Gotta hurry up because he's almost done. We don't want the car to drive away. Yeah, yeah. So how do we do this, V? Okay, let's go around his truck. Yeah. On the other side and sneak into the bed of it. Okay. Okay, guys. Look at this thing. This thing is ancient. Look at the torn edges there. I gotta be super careful. Or else Chad's gonna get real mad at me. Whoa, man, look. This thing is almost falling apart. Okay, well, I don't know. This is cool and all. It's an old comic from Chad's past that he used to read, but I don't see any clues or anything. I mean, it's pretty cool and all, but it's just kind of like a normal cut. <gasps> Do you guys recognize that sphinx? That's the sphinx that's in front of the, <gasps> the black pyramid. What are the chances I just opened to a random page and the Black Pyramid is there? It doesn't even make any sense. When Chad was a little kid, I don't even think the Black Pyramid was built yet. Yet it's showing in this super old comic book. This is super weird. Let's keep investigating. Another successful class. And another 50 bucks for all my subscribers. Maybe I can get some nice lunch for that. But I gotta pick up my lackey first. I think he's saying he's picking up his lackey. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Get in, Chad. Get in close, they're always coming around. I closed us at the same time, he closed his door. Oh my gosh, V, he's moving. Okay. Okay. Alright guys, this is actually really perfect. Whenever he stops, that's my chance to sneak inside of the truck because I gotta connect my phone and upload the nav system or whatever Daniel's program is into the navigation. Okay, luckily he said that he had to make a quick stop before he picks up his buddy. So once he makes that quick stop, V, you sneak into the cab using your secret stealth spy ninja moves. Being a tiny spy ninja really comes in handy in a lot of missions, you guys. You fit in the back of this truck way easier than I do. This is kind of cramped for me. <laughs> it's so tough being tall. He's pulling over. Okay, okay. Wait this for is my chance. Yeah, wait for him to get out first. Oh my gosh, look, his hacker mask is right there. Do you think he can fit into that window? I don't know, it's a tiny little window. I don't know if he'll fit out. Let's see if he gets out of the truck. His mask is gone. Oh, there he is. Okay. okay, now's your chance for you to get into the cab and plug your phone in so Daniel can hack. Okay, I'm gonna try and fit into this tiny window. I'm not sure if I can actually fit though. Are you tiny enough to fit? Oh my gosh, B, that's a tiny window. Whoa. How did you fit in there like that? Oh my gosh, I'm way tinier than I thought. Yeah, plug your phone in to his GPS unit. It's in, it's in. Yes. Tell okay. Daniel. Okay, you crawl out of there, I'll call Daniel. Okay. Calling Daniel right now. Hey, Chad. Daniel, Daniel, V's in there. She's got her phone inside the truck. Are you ready? You ready to hack? Not yet, it says a minute to upload. Okay, Daniel, it's gonna be a few minutes, it says. What do we do? Hang in there, guys. As soon as I get it uploaded, I'll be able to hack the directions. Okay, all right, we'll let you know when it's done. We'll keep an eye on Melvin here. He's coming. He's get, out, get out, get out, get out, get out. It's so hard to find good help these days. I mean, he asked me to pick him up. He better be making some good sales. Sheesh, I gotta find a new lackey. Maybe Daniel's interested. There's gotta be more clues in here. This is pretty cool. Comic books are awesome. Guys, comment down below if you guys have any comic books. It's kind of like a thing from the old days that doesn't happen that much anymore. Okay, what the heck? Hey guys, do you see this? I think we might have found something. Here's a piece of paper inside this comic book. Let's be very gentle with this. This is super ancient stuff. Looks like another comic book of some sort, except a very poorly drawn one. What the heck? This is super weird. Why is there a crappy comic book inside an awesome comic book? I gotta keep this until Chad. He's stopping, Chad. Watch out. Okay. 
Once they get back in the car, we need to make sure to be in there so he'll drive us to where we need to go. Does that mean we're going to be in the bed of the car or we have to go back inside again? I think it'd be a lot safer if we get inside. They'll probably take the two front seats, we'll take the two back seats, we'll hide behind it. That's so dangerous. But yeah, it would be way safer. Should we sneak up on them and see what they're talking about? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to that tree. Did you make any sales though? Uh, no. I'm out here, I'm doing everything that you show me. What I am got... I paying you for? You don't pay me squat. I paid $50 for your subscription to this stupid service. Look, we can get lunch whenever, you know? I'll pay for your lunch as long as you get from the value menu. I'm tired of eating the dollar menu. It's my favorite. Learn to enjoy it. Well, pack up then. You No sales and I guess we're done here. Yeah, I guess so. Well, let's go get lunch and maybe if you have a full stomach, you can actually make some sales. We're going to the bed of the truck while they're putting the stuff in the back. We gotta sneak around and get in the back seat, okay? Okay, go on the other side, Chad. Okay, here we go. Sales. Right, I'm at the ground floor, so like I'm like a like a like a, a business sidekick owner type, right? Uh, it's just get in the car. Let's get lunch. How about that? Okay, all right. Maybe you're not worthy of all this clout. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I'm worthy. You know I'm worthy. Hopefully Daniel is successfully hacking his nav right now. Hey, what? Is this is your phone. I've never seen that phone in my life. It's plugged into the car. What are you doing draining my battery for? That's not my phone, I swear. It's not my phone. Well, if it's not your phone, then you wouldn't care if I did this. Ah! Oh my gosh, that don't hit me in the forehead. This is my phone. It's supposed to be plugged into the navigation. Now it's unplugged. How's Daniel going to enter the navigation now? Daniel's calling. Daniel, V and I are in the back of the truck right now. Melvin just unplugged V's phone and he threw it back here. Okay, we're gonna try to plug it back in so you can hack his nav system, okay? Oh yeah, nothing's talking. I just downloaded a bunch of new tracks. Oh sweet, I could use some new hot tracks. Yeah, they're all royalty free. Oh nice, <laughs> I like I like anything that's free. Cranking it up to maximum! Yeah! Daniel. Uh, I can't hear you, Daniel. What do we what? B, I can't hear Daniel right now. He's telling me what to do. It's too loud. B, can you sneak up there and turn it down? What? I can't hear Daniel. I'm Music. Oh, it's probably over. Okay, Daniel. We'll get the music down. What were you saying? Okay, you're updating the software right now, so it's gonna be faster this time. Okay, Daniel, we'll let you know when we get this plugged back in. But in the meantime, let me look at all these other things that apparently are from Chad and V's past. These are all things that they had when they were kids. Chad's cell phone looks much more ancient than V's cell phone. It's gonna take me a long time to get into this one. We got Weird Al Yankovic cassettes. He is one weird looking guy. I still don't know what this thing is. I mean, if this came from the Project Zorgo headquarters, maybe this isn't something that Chad had when he was a kid and this is just a piece of hacking equipment Perlita accidentally threw in the bag. Here's an old, uh, oh, cassette player. So this thing plays these things. You should probably listen to this. It probably just is a normal Weird Al cassette, but it's worth a shot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, when I open this up, I see little writing. It says V. V must have wrote her name in this when she was a little wee lass. So this is definitely V's. I know where we're gonna go. Sonic, America's huh. driving. He's going to Sonic? Yeah, they're ordering lunch. How long is that gonna take? Well, oh, maybe this is a good time. They'll get out of the car and I can plug this back in there. But V, Sonic is a drive-in. They deliver food to your car and you eat inside the car, so I don't think they're gonna be getting out. Wait, I think I just heard the lackey said something about corn dogs. Yeah, corn dogs. How are we gonna order food? We're in the back of the car hiding. We can't order food. Oh, ordering, Chad. Yeah, place an order on your phone and they'll bring it to the window. There's instructions on this order? Yeah. Like deliver it to the back door. The back window? Order me a hot dog and a corn dog. Anyway, your and you have number 12 Here's our order, Chad. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you enjoy your meal. Okay, thanks. Thank you. I don't want to dirty up my car. Yeah, let's just head back to that same park again. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's a nice day out, a good, uh, you know. You're eating already? Yeah, Clint, what? Food is so good when it's hot, Chad. Oh my gosh, V, you're crazy. Yeah, come on. That's a big onion ring. Wow. Maybe you can drive up your sales. 
I'm gonna eat my corn dog the way Daniel eats stuff. Wrong. Oh, well, it's kind of good this way. Mm, I like it. He's really onto something. Okay, I think we're at the barn now. Let's eat. Okay, now let's grow. Man, okay, now's our chance. We gotta plug your phone in to the GPS. Let's go. Oh, what the heck is this thing? There's a weird little pointy thing right here, a weird little speaker right there, whatever the heck that thing is, and a little red lever? What? Okay, this seems like something from Project Zorgo. I don't know why Chad or V would have this as a little kid. This seems awfully dangerous. Let's just put this back. I gotta tell Chad and V what I found, especially the biggest clue today, this weird comic. Guys, if you can comment down below and read this and see if there's any clues here or if it makes any sense, that'd be fantastic. But I gotta go tell Chad and V. Plug your phone back into his GPS. Okay. Okay, Daniel, V's plugged the phone back in. Go ahead and begin hacking the GPS system. Those guys are out eating their food right now. So we got a couple minutes, I think. Okay, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I got it, I got it. You got it, Daniel? Yeah, we're in. All right, so you're gonna navigate Melvin to drive to where the coordinates of V's old childhood phone is leading us to, right? Her her best friend. I dialed in the exact coordinates. Okay, V, I think we shouldn't be back here anymore now that it's plugged in. I think we should go hide in the back. Otherwise, they might spot us. Okay, sounds good. Let's go. Stay down low, stay down low. Okay, okay all, right. all right. I think they're coming back. I think I feel like I'm ready to make some sales. Yeah. All right, well, let's set up right here then. Okay, that sounds good. I'll get the stuff out of the back of the truck. Wait, they say back of the truck. Oh, no. What? 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 Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, 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 no. Back here. Uh, uh, no, we're just uh, we're just going for a free ride. That's all. A free ride. There's no free rides in anywhere. If there's one thing that I've learned, there's nobody gets a free ride. Hey, Valet. Oh. Valet. What? Uh oh. Valet. Oh, crap. You got stowaways. Chad and V are in the back of your truck. Are you looking for another excuse to get out of sales today? No, I'm telling you, they're in the back of the truck. Wait, V, they're, they're arguing. Let's try to sneak out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, jeez. You you... <laughs> let me out of Let me out of See, I told you that we had stowaways in the truck. Okay, well, I guess I believe you now. <laughs> well, what are you guys doing? Looking to sign up for my online course? No. Um, we don't need it, Melvin. And you're not getting my allowance, okay? So what? You trying to battle royale? Yeah, you don't want to battle royale V. Then maybe I don't have to, but my lackey could. Yeah, yeah, I could. Ha. <laughs> Cause she's just a girl. What'd you say? I say you're just a girl. I could easily beat you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't know me quite. I'm gonna give you a taste of these jalapeno poppers. Oh boy, ah! watch ah! it. Ah! Yeah, yeah, V, woohoo! What's popping now, huh? What's yeah. popping? You're popping, V. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she hit me and my stomach's full. Ugh. I think I gotta go to the bathroom. You're lackey. You ain't much of a fighter. You haven't taught him a whole lot, Melvin. Yeah, he's actually quite lacking. <laughs> so what the heck are you guys doing in the back of my truck? Oh, you know, just chillaxing. Well, Melvin, we needed your truck to drive us to this place that only your truck can go because it's over mountains and stuff. We can't take the DeLorean, so we needed your truck. So we were going to have you drive us there. That's it? We were going to trick you into driving there. We were going to hack your GPS and have you drive there. You And you wouldn't even know any better. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> pretty, pretty funny. Pretty, pretty funny. Well, why don't you just ask? Wow. Uh, okay. huh? What? what? Because you'd probably be like, ah, no, I'm not driving you anywhere. No, 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 no. But everything has a price. Oh, clout. Yes. I'll drive you to wherever you need to go, but you got to upload the content to my channel. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. You can't just like, film your own stuff and make your own videos, Melvin? You have a lackey now. Can't he just, like, film you? He's really not that good. You haven't taught him how to edit videos yet or anything? No, I don't trust him with my footage, okay? I'm learning to do that on my own. Okay, fine. You need content for your YouTube channel. We need your truck to drive us somewhere. V, should we do it? Should we take him up on his offer? I guess so. We do need him. Okay, Melvin, you've got a deal. All right, Spy Ninjas. We're going to do a video on Melvin's channel tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe to him and then check out our video. <laughs> all right, and thank you to all you notification ninjas who show up whenever I post a brand new video in the first 60 minutes. I'm showing your comments right here. Make sure to subscribe to me, to Chad. And to me, all the people that unsubscribed from me last week. Get back. Oh, gosh. 
that yeah. was really loud. Ouch, that was. Okay. But yeah, right. that's true. You should be subscribed to him because uh, we're going to make a sweet video on his channel tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. All right, kick bump! Kick, kick bump! bump. Miss you.